Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So, now moving further with the uh, machine learning for Python. Further, I'm going to start on uh, here in detail with the Python programming language. Okay. So, here first of all, I'm going to very quickly put up ML1 and let's say it's the, the topic I'm going to put up like that. Okay. Now, the IDE which I am using from my site, that's the Google Collab. Now, into your case, you can just prefer out any of the IDEs, whatever you are comfortable with or whatever you want to use out, you can take that according to your choice. Okay, so let's get started up here. I'm going to start writing up the text. So in that case, I'm going to put up the heading for today, like what, what's the heading right away. So I'm going to write up here like my heading for today is operators. Okay, we'll be discussing about the operators which we have here in the Python programming language. Okay, so great. And let me just put on the um, subheading and first of all, I'm going to start out with the arithmetic operators. Okay, so arithmetic operators are my operators which consist of um, like plus, then minus, then uh, multiplication, okay, modulus, etc, etc. So the basic operators which we have up here now that all of my basic operators refer up as my arithmetic operators. So and that is a respective idea. Now how to use those operators and how to write up the code here. So let's check out that particular thing. So what I'm going to do is that I can simply take up a top a variable, let's say that's A for me. Okay, and I can assign some value, let's say 10. I'm going to take up the second variable, again that's B. And again, I'm going to assign it some value, uh, value like 20. Okay, now I want to use up, let's say I want to write up a program for the addition of two numbers. I want to do the addition of two numbers, let's say. So into that respective case, what will I do? I will simply write C is equal to A plus B. Okay. And at last, I'm going to print up the C. So whenever you want to display something as an output for you or you are having some values in any variable and uh, you want to display that variable so that the values get displayed out. So into all of those respective cases, we simply use up the statement and that's your print statement. So that is a print statement about like why are we using that here? And now if I very quickly run that out to see what I got, I got the answer as 30. So the addition of 10 and 20 belongs to 30. So that's how you use in your arithmetic operator. I could just give you one more example. Let's say it's again P is equal to let's say 20. Okay. Q is equal to 5. And let's say I'm going to do the uh, multiplication. Okay. So R is equal to P multiplication. Q and I'm going to print up the here as R right like that. So now I would be running this out over here and see what I got. I got the multiplication of both the numbers and what's that? That's 100. So this is how your arithmetic operators are used on. Right. So I hope I'm pretty much clear. Next I'll be moving towards my assignment operators. So let me just put up uh, here like that. And here goes assignment operators, okay, like that, assignment operators, okay. Oh, hold on a second, not like that, I need to remove that, uh, these double quotations once, hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, not like this, I would remove and put a one more hash, because like, yeah. My assignment operator is referring to equal to, like it's plus equal to comma minus equal minus equal to comma. We can have multiplication equal to and the things like that. Okay, so that is what is my assignment operators. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write up again some of the codes for my assignment operators. Um, okay. Let's say I'm going to take up A. Okay, now the equal to sign which I'm putting now that is as well as sort of an assignment operator. It means, it means the operator which helps us to assign some value. That is referred to as your assignment operator. Okay, so hope I am clear with that particular thing. 
like the assignment operators are those operators which are used for assigning up some value so that is actually referring up as an assignment operator for you so i'm going to write up let's say a is equal to and we can just assign some value let's say i'm going to assign term 15 similarly goes from b let's say i'm going to do it for 17 okay and now i can simply write that c is equal to you can just use anything like uh, i can do b minus a okay and we can simply print up here as c so that's how these particular things could work out and we can just run that out over here so see i get that 17 minus 15 is 2 so the equal to signs which i'm using up here those are my assignment operator now one more thing in the assignment operator comes let's say i'm going to write up s is equal to 10. so we use one more thing like s is equal to it's like s plus equal to 1. so it's referring to s is equal to s plus 1 like this so s plus equal to 1 and that is referring to s is equal to s plus 1. So if I'm writing up this particular thing like x plus, x plus is equal to 1, so that is actually being um, meant out as s is equal to s plus 1. And simply here I can just use a print a statement I can write up here like that, s. Okay, and we can just simply run that out. So see what I got? I got 11. Because what I did, I simply added a 1 a value to this particular thing. Right, that's the thing and that is the reason why are we getting up here this 11 as a final output right so that is about my assignment operator into this particular manner you use in your assignment operator same goes for multiplication let's say t is going to be equal to 20 so it will be t minus is equal to 1 and you can simply print up here as t or instead of 1 you can just do anything let's say we do 5 okay now, one thing is to make sure you that you are not leaving up any respective space between this plus and this equal to sign. That's not allowed. That That's not the uh, syntax which is being allowed up there. Okay, so if you are using now, then in that case, you might get up some uh, sort of errors at your end as well. You can get up those respective things. So make sure that you're not leaving out any space between both of these of the operators which you're having in here for this particular thing right so hope i am pretty much clear with this particular thing to you regarding your arithmetic and your assignment operators so this is about your okay um, i've written a spelling for a-r-i-t-h arithmetic okay yeah now this is about your arithmetic operators and even your assignment operators as well like what are these and how are these things working out uh, like what how to write up the basic programs or how, or how to use the basic operators so that thing we have already discussed up into this particular video now i'll be stopping up this particular video here itself and i'll be i'll be continuing it further into the next video okay so into this one we learned about arithmetic and the assignment so hope you had enjoyed the video if you had enjoyed the video so please make sure that you do subscribe out my channel so that you do not miss out any of the videos from here and do press the bell notification as well right and if you have liked if you enjoyed the video please do like this particular video and even share this with your friends so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care